Hello, we're here today with Bonnie Chin. Bonnie is a recent graduate of UCSD, and she's working in the design lab here this summer and heading on to University of Washington for her PhD this fall. And when Bonnie took my class, uh, she made a really great uh, application, and we wanted to share that with you today in paper prototype form to give you a sense of what running through a paper usability study looks like. Um, Bonnie, do you want to tell us a little bit about the, the World Kitchen app? Sure. So the World Kitchen app is an app that is supposed to be a cultural experience for people who use it. So it's trying to connect people from different cultures, specifically at UCSD. And so this is like there's a weekly lunch event right, that right. this is drawing on. And so there's a, a weekly lunch event where... Um, Students get lunch that's cooked from a different country each week. Mm -hmm. And in your app, people get to learn a little bit more about the background of that food right. and culture. So in my app, I wanted people to learn about different foods that they might experience and also the culture, including names of uh, people from different countries, how to pronounce them, or common phrases that they might say. Cool. And so here we've got a, a paper prototype of the app that uh, Bonnie's made. And I'm going to be the user in this case. And uh, OK, so I'm ready when you are. All right, go ahead. So I'm going to pick a country. And uh, today's lunch is USA. So I'm going to click USA. Mm -hmm. And here I see the different dishes. And I'm going to click on mac and cheese to learn more about mac and cheese. OK, for somebody watching this somewhere, this is a cultural experience. Uh, all right, and then, okay, I can read about mac and cheese here. Uh, I can get the recipe or submit a recipe. Um, I wonder what uh, this chat does. Aha, uh -huh. so I can learn how to pronounce American names like Scott or have greetings like what's up. And now I want to go back. And I'm going to submit a recipe. OK, so here I can add ingredients. And so I'm going to add an ingredient, uh, macaroni. Uh, and then I'm going to add another ingredient. <laughs> A nice drop down. And I'm going to add cheese. Uh, OK, now I'm going to click Submit. And the recipe submitted. Uh, what else can I do with this app? Well, you can get the recipe, and you can Click to enlarge it. I think that, that was it. All right. Well, I'll go back. And I'm going to get the recipe. And let's, let's see the zoomed in mac and cheese. Awesome. There we go. <laughs> so here's Bonnie's prototype. And um, when you run through your paper prototype like this, you'll see a bunch of different things. One of them is that if something happens on the fly, where you want to be able to add an individual element, uh, no problem. You just grab a piece of paper and you write on it. Or if there's an issue, uh, you can update things, change things, whatever, right on the fly. In this case, I was able to figure out my way around this app pretty easily. Uh, usually, it's the case that when you start out with something new, it'll be more difficult. And so paper prototypes are a really rapid, fast way to work out the kinks in your app, try out alternatives, get feedback with users. And they're great for collaboration, too, because unlike code, where it's daunting, I mean, you're not going to get you know, everyday folks to write code with you. With something like a paper prototype, you can get the user to be like, OK, you know, I'm going to draw my screen here. And then that's part of your interface. So this, in a nutshell, is how you test your paper prototype.